In this video, how to use Windows 7 Image Updater to create Windows 7 ISO and bootable USB drive. For example, when installing Windows 7, you may encounter errors such as not being able to use the USB mouse and keyboard. Additionally, you might get an error saying there is no drive to select. The first step is to download the original Windows 7 ISO and the Windows 7 Image Updater from the Internet. You can find and download the original Windows ISO from the Internet. Alternatively, if you have an MSDN subscription, you can download the ISO directly from Microsoft's My Visual Studio. This tool includes drivers for USB, network cards, and NVMe drivers. Select the original Windows 7 ISO image file. Select the destination to save the custom image file. The tool also adds Windows updates to the ISO file, so after installing Windows, you won't need to wait a long time for updates. To save time during creation, I will select only one edition that I want to install, as selecting all editions could take several hours to complete. This process might take up to an hour to complete, so please be patient. Once done, go to the destination location to check if the custom ISO image has been created. As you can see, the size of the new ISO with drivers and updates is twice as large as the original one. You can now use Rufus to create an USB boot drive from this custom ISO to install Windows 7 with drivers and updates already integrated. When creating a USB boot device, make sure to select the partition scheme as MBR. Next, turn on the computer and access the BIOS setup page. Here's a list of common BIOS keys by brands for motherboards and laptops. Right after turn on or restart your computer, Press the designated key repeatedly until you enter BIOS setup or boot menu. Here is an example on an MSI motherboard. Disable secure boot if it is enabled. Enable CSM support to install Windows 7.
That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.